Um, obviously, going on right now, we have the uh, 375 year anniversary of the Barbados Parliament, 21 years of, of holders. It's actually Virgin Atlantic's 15th year of being involved with, uh, with holders, um, and also Virgin Atlantic this year is 30 years old, so lots of great dates going on this, this year. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Wendy and all the team here at, at Holders um, just for what they've achieved over the last 20 years and for what I know they're going to achieve this year in what's going to be an absolutely fabulous season. Um, we all know uh, how magical Holders season is, um, but I'm not sure that we all probably appreciate just how hard it is to pull it all together and the whole logistics that goes on behind the scenes. So huge congratulations to, uh, to Wendy and the Holders team for the last 20 years. Uh, and I know this year, as I say, is going to be a really, really magical experience. Um, Holder's House will always be very special to Virgin Atlantic as well. It is where it all kicked off for us uh, just over 15 years ago in the Caribbean. Uh, Richard Branson himself was here hosting our, hosting our launch party. Um, and I think from then we've really built a, a fantastic relationship with Holder's, um, particularly through our, our close relationship uh, here at, uh, at Holder's Season. It's a natural partnership uh, between ourselves and holders. We're both passionate about delivering an exceptional, magical, varied uh, entertainment experience. Whether it's a world-class entertainment uh, that, that Wendy and the team bring here to, to hold this season, whether it's the international performers or the, or the local talent that, that Wendy mentioned earlier. So whether it's about bringing those guys here to, to perform in what is a real unique, stunning setting, or indeed whether it's on board our own uh, aircraft at 30,000 feet enjoying the wonderful entertainment that we've got on board. Entertainment and the experience of entertainment is something that is so, so important to people. Like holders as well, we have also been known um, ourselves for putting on live entertainment. We've had obviously Richard Branson over the years playing the steel pans down on, on the aircraft. Or whether we've had our own, uh, our own um, entertainment put on board our domestic flights within the UK. You know, entertainers, um, you know, comedians, musicians. We've had a beatbox Santa and a festive choir all on board uh, the aircraft. It's just, you know, the importance of entertainment is, is so crucial to, to people's lives, people's experience. It is a tremendous task bringing together artists from around the world and coordinating an event of this scale while taking into consideration the various requirements. I wish to applaud your efforts for a successful accomplishment over the last 20 years. This festival showcases a celebration of opera, music, and theatre, and is considered to be one of the premier cultural events in the Caribbean, and rightfully so, as it becomes a feature on the calendar of our events here in Barbados. The accolades received nationally and internationally, as well as the large followings of patrons from our our major source markets is an attribute to the high quality of the performance. In fact, some visitors plan their vacations to, to coincide with this event in Barbados and are always here to be part of it. When we first started, I certainly didn't envision still being at it in 2014. In our first year, we had eight performers and we did three little nights of opera. The next year, I suddenly found myself with 80 performers. <laughs> opera, Shakespeare, polo, and our first premiere, which was Stuart Copeland's A Cask of Amontillado, which was extraordinarily challenging. <laughs> but we've evolved and I'm always endeavouring to try and make sure that Barbados Holders is the best in the Caribbean. I'm especially proud that we have our local performers here. And this year, amongst those, I've been to, I go to Nivka all the time and I find lots of fabulous people at Nivka, but I find an absolutely marvellous group of children who up to the age of 22 and they're being properly trained in stagecraft so each one of them can dance, sing and act and they are, it's really exciting. So I'm very happy that they're going to be performing as well, just a short chunk. 